All right, everybody. Welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. This hour, we are going to be uh, talking about uh, going to the supermarket, um, learning some uh, some basic words and phrases that uh, that you can use while you, while you are there. We'll also be taking a look at uh, some uh, vocabulary words. Uh, also, um, now this is a class for uh, for uh, uh, beginning level uh, level students. Okay, there is a uh, link in the um, in the class materials section that has the PDF that we'll be going over. If you cannot, if you cannot find it, I'll be placing it in the Verbling and the uh, Google chat boxes. Okay. Very good. So it should be in there for you guys right now. Right. So let's see who we have in class so far. Hi there, Amparo. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Thank you. All right, and uh, Amparo, what's uh, what's your plans for the weekend? Well, tomorrow I have the, a reunion for Christmas with my friends from the high school. All right, everybody. Cool. Class. My name is yes. And uh, are you guys gonna gonna do lunch or something like that? Go out? Um, yeah, in the restaurant, but uh, we are going to to eat crab this time because um, it's um, um, on holiday. People used to to eat a uh, turkey, so. We can change the <laughs> the dish this time. <laughs> okay, you're gonna you're gonna change it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. Very good. Thank you. Uh, let's see here, Jose. How you doing, Jose? Hi, teacher. Welcome. I'm welcome great. to class. Right, excellent. Uh, Jose, what are your plans for the weekend? Ooh, I don't know. Well, perhaps I I will go to my hometown. Um, see my parents and friends. And where's 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 your hometown? Uh, Miranda de Ebro. All right. Is that in what what country is that in? Uh, Spain. Spain is in the north of Spain. Okay. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Are you gonna ride your bike there? Uh, no. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, let's see here. Joy, welcome to class. Thank you. Hi, enjoy. What are your plans for the weekend? Uh, I have no plan yet. No plan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> will you will you be working all weekend? Yes, I work uh, every day. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Do you work every day all day long? Yes. Wow. Uh, wow, you My you, work uh, depends on my customer. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so you have to be close to your computer all, all day yes. long, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank uh, you. Let's go to Laszlo. Hi, Laszlo. Welcome to class. Hi. Hi, Chen. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Laszlo, what uh, what are your plans for the weekend? Mm, I don't know. I think nothing special. Nothing special? Yeah. Okay. All right. It well, is welcome. very, very warm. <laughs> very warm, sir. Are you guys going to stay yeah. inside, or are you going to go outside and yeah. try and cool off? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Oscar. Hi there, Oscar. Welcome hey. to class. Hey, hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and Oscar, what are your plans for the weekend? <laughs> plans in the weekend? In 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 house writing technical books. Oh, in the house writing technical books. Okay. <laughs> yes. That sounds that sounds like a like a blast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, for you, for you it might be, for others it might uh, it might not be. But uh, yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed doing that. That's uh, that's great. <laughs> so, All right, let, let's go to Trung. Uh, hi there, Trung. Uh, welcome to class. Hi, uh, and uh, Trong, what are your plans for the weekend? Um, actually, um, I have no plan at the moment. No plans at the moment? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's 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 fine. Well, good to, good to have you here. Uh, mm -hmm. How about uh, Victor? Hi there, good Victor. Mo good morning, Chad. And uh, good good night to you, or good afternoon, or whatever time it is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, and uh, how are you? How was your day today? Uh, it's okay. It's my 
fifth class. Your fifth, your fifth class today. Fifth class today, yes. Cool. And uh, what what are your plans for uh, for tomorrow and Sunday? I exactly don't know. Maybe I gonna go to my mother-in-law. Okay. All right. Hang out there. Eat some food. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Pancakes. Ah, oh, yes, pancakes. Delicious. <laughs> All right, let's see. We also have Diego. Hi, Chad. Hey, Diego, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. Excellent. And uh, Diego, what are your plans for the weekend? Uh, tomorrow, I think I'm going to see a movie. What movie? Uh, the Hobbit. Oh, really? It, is, yeah. it, uh, is it there in the theaters right now? Yes, yes today. Today is... is Wow, yes. it took him. It took him a while to get it there. Yes. Is it, I don't is, know. it a new, is it a new one? Yes, a new one. Yes. Uh, so yes. is this? Uh, do they have the second, two now? The, the second part. Oh, yes. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yes, yeah, because yes, I was yes. thinking, and I was like, wow, uh, I thought the Hobbit came out forever ago. That's strange that Spain <laughs> is getting it. Uh, you know, way after Costa Rica, but uh, yeah. Okay, yes. cool. The second part. Yes. All right. Yes. Very cool. Very cool. I would love to go see a movie. I think uh, we went and saw um, the Hunger Games this past week at like like ten o'clock at night. Uh, <laughs> on I think it was last Friday or last Saturday. I was like, yeah, let's go do it. And so we went out in the middle of the night and saw it. It was fun. So okay, uh, very cool. Let's see here. We also have Esther. Hi there, Hi. Esther. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Esther, what are your plans for the weekend? And tomorrow I will go to my uh, my father-in-law. Uh huh. And you'll go to your father-in-law's. And what uh, what do you guys do at your father-in-law's? You go and eat or hang out? No, we stay in a in a farm. On a farm. A farm, yes. Oh, very cool. That's fun. Uh, yeah. Does he have Does he have a lot of animals there? Do you enjoy animals? Uh, yes, he has a um, chicken. Uh huh. Cool. Yeah, when I when I lived in Honduras um, with my with my wife and kids, we had we had like 15 chickens there, and uh, I I uh, <laughs> I I don't I don't like you know birds and whatnot all that much, but my kids loved them and my wife did as well. Um, and uh, every once in a while, when we would have chicken for dinner. Um, we would, I would think about what we were eating. My kids wouldn't know. They're like, mmm, this is yummy. Right? But yeah, we'd be eating one of our chickens. <laughs> uh, very, very good. Well, thank you and, and welcome to class. All right, you guys. Uh, so we're, we're going to be talking about uh, going to the supermarket. Okay? We'll be looking at some phrases and things like that. Uh, you might know some of the words, you might not. Um, but uh, but let's uh, let's go ahead and get rolling, okay? Uh, all right. So the link I put in the in the chat box a bit ago. If uh, you need it again, let me know. Oops. All right. Okay. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to be looking at uh, six uh, six words here, okay? And uh, we need to. See if I can zoom in just a bit. Uh, we need to put them um, or link them to the uh, pictures that are down here. Let's see. Make it just a little bit bigger. Okay. So we have uh, we have our vocabulary words that are up here at the top. Okay. All these that are here, and we're going to be matching them with these six uh, six pictures. All right. So we're going to start off with um, with Victor. Okay. Victor, uh, take a look at number one. All right, and uh, tell me uh, which of those six words matches what you see in the picture. Uh, I guess it uh, a checkout. Okay. Yeah. So this is a checkout. Okay. A checkout. Now, um, uh, we also call this uh, checking out. Okay. Uh, checking out would be the verb. Okay, so if I were to ask someone, I, I would say, uh, where's the checkout? Where's the checkout? Okay, or uh, where can I check out? Okay, using it as a verb. 
Okay. Uh, very good. Thank you. Uh, next up is Trong, number two here, please. Actually, I cannot see the screen. I don't need to see um, the picture of you. And that woman that follows me everywhere. All right, so uh, let's see here. Try and uh, try and click on someone else's icon here, and then back over to mine. Yes. Okay. I see it now. Okay. Cool. Number two. What would that be? I think um. And uh, else. Okay. Else. All right. Yeah. Now the pronunciation of this is actually aisle. An aisles. An aisle. Uh, aisle. Yeah, the S is silent, you guys. Okay? So when we pronounce this word, it is uh, I, oh, kind of like that. Aisle. An aisle. Okay? Yeah, the, the, uh, the S is silent, and the E, for, for all matters, is, is silent at the end as well. Okay? Uh, these would not be rows. Okay? They are called aisles. Aisle. Okay? All right, very good. Uh, next up is number three. This is for uh, Oscar. Yes. A cashier. Yes, a cashier. A cashier. Yeah, so our stress is on that, that I here. Okay, a cashier. A cashier. There you go, very good. Fan. Okay, so uh, yes, these are the people that uh, take your money. Okay, four purchases. Take care of your money. Okay, so they're the ones that uh, take your money for the purchases. Okay, uh, very good. Uh, number four, this is for Laszlo. Uh, a trolley. Okay, good. So, a uh, trolley. Okay, uh, another name that we use for this, you guys, I'll put this down here. Okay, another name that we use is a grocery cart. Okay, we can call it a cart or grocery cart. Okay, and, and that is, uh, in some areas, it will be uh, most typical. I know where I grew up in, uh, in Arizona and in California, um, that, that's the word that we used. We called it a cart, okay, a grocery cart, okay. Uh, but, yeah, if you call it a trolley, uh, people will know what, what you mean. Okay. Um, next up is uh, number five. This is for Joy. A basket. Good. Yeah, a basket. Okay. Uh, holding uh, For holding the smaller things. Okay. Uh, we don't have any other word for this. It's just a basket. Okay. Uh, very good. And our last one, number six, Jose. Okay, uh, number six, a plastic bag. Okay, good. A plastic, a plastic <laughs> bag. All right. Okay, uh, the other, uh, other type of bag would be a paper bag. Now, uh, the question that, uh, that uh, you are asked many times when you, go, uh, when you are checking out, you guys, is, okay, if, you're in the, if you're in, you are in the U.S., uh, you will probably be asked paper or plastic, okay? And they ask that in a question form. So when, when they're bagging your stuff, when they're putting things in your in or about to, they look at you and they say, paper or plastic? Paper or plastic? And what they want to know is if you want plastic bags or paper bags, okay? In, in most cases now, I think they've really done away with uh, with paper, um, and uh, I, at least from what I've seen, they mainly have plastic bags, plastic bags. Okay, very good. All right, any questions here with these six vocabulary words? Nope. Okay. Uh, very cool. Let's uh, scroll down here. Okay, and uh, we are going to be completing the sentences now. All right, with uh, with these words that we just uh, just went over. Okay. All right. So let's uh, start off here with Esther. So take a look here, Esther, at, at number one right here. And uh, tell me, which of our vocabulary words 
would answer or would complete that sentence. Okay? Okay. Uh, one, uh, please uh, pay your shopping at the checkout. Good, at the checkout. Okay, excellent. Okay, um, number two, this is for, let's see, Diego. Okay, if you have a lot of, sh of shopping to do, you can use a grocery cart. Okay, good, yeah, a grocery cart. Okay, uh, I want to take a look at the pronunciation of this word here. Shopping, shopping. Shopping, shopping. Shopping. There you go. Good, good. All right, nice job. Thank you. Uh, let's see, number three, this is for Amparo. If you don't have much shopping to do, you can take a basket. Okay, good. And that is weird. What's going on? Okay, come on, let me uh, type on the on that one part here. So, if you don't have much shopping to do, you can take a basket. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, good. Let's go to number four. This is for uh, Victor. Okay. I found some orange juice in the drinks aisle. Okay, in the drinks aisle. Good. Now let's uh, let's practice. Oh, that's probably why. Okay, uh, let's practice this word here. Okay, or the two words: orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Good. One more time: orange juice. Orange juice. Great. Now, notice, you guys, we are not stopping in pronouncing two J sounds. Okay, we're going to combine these. So instead of saying orange juice. Okay, he said orange juice, like it's one word. Okay, you are combining those J sounds. Okay, orange, orange juice. juice. Okay, orange just juice. Okay. just like that. Okay, okay, very good. All right, nice. Let's go to number five. Number five is for Trong. Uh, after you buy, you can put on your shopping in a plastic bag. Okay, good. Yeah, a plastic bag. After your shopping is done, okay, you put your stuff in a plastic bag. Let's practice the word after right here, Trung. Instead of ah, after, it's ah, after. After. Okay, very nice. Thank you. All right, next. Next up is number six. This is for Oscar. I didn't have any cash, so I gave my credit card to the cashier. Okay, good. Yeah, this is going to be cashier. Nice pronunciation there. Good stress on cashier. <laughs> cashier. Okay. Cashier. Okay, cashier. excellent. Okay, so I want to practice. This here and this here with you, okay? So this is going to be any cash. Try that. Any, any cash. Any cash. Okay. One more time. Instead of ka, it's ka. Cash. Any cash. Okay. Almost. You're saying ka. Instead of an ah sound, you want to say ah. Ah. Any cash. Okay. Ka. All right, uh, closer, closer. Let's uh, let's try these two words here. This is credit card, credit card, card, credit card. There you go, much better, much better. All right, nice job, thank you. Thanks. All right, very cool. Uh, let's scroll down here, you guys, to uh, to number two. All right, now um, we have a word here. This is delicatessen. Okay. Um, now we usually do not call it the delicatessen. Typically, you guys, we have another word for it. Okay? In most cases, we call it the deli. Okay? Uh, but if you ask for uh, the delicatessen, okay, um, people will know what you're talking about. Okay? Um, now, um, what sort of things, what sort of things can we get at the deli. 
What do you guys think? What sort of things can we purchase from the deli? Any ideas? Bread? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so bread, um, sometimes specialized bread. Okay. Cheese, uh, ham. Cheese, yes. Okay, cheese. Okay, uh, ham or uh, specialized meat as well. Mm -hmm. Fish. So, okay, uh, fish sometimes. Yeah. Okay. So when I'm when I'm talking about specialized, okay, what I mean here, you guys, uh, you guys, <clears throat> is that it's not going to be your your normal uh, bread or your normal um, uh, type of meat. Okay, it'll be like pepperoni, right, or salami. Okay, uh, pepperoni does not grow any place on a cow, right? You can't, you, you don't look at a cow and say, oh, this is where the pepperoni is at. Okay, no, you have to make it. Okay, you have to prepare it. It has certain spices and, and seasonings. Okay, um, same thing with, with sausage. Okay, sausage does not grow in a pig, right? It doesn't exist there. You have to make it. Okay, so when I'm talking about specialized, okay, it's those type of meats, those type of cheeses, okay, um, special cheese and things like that, special bread, not just white bread or uh, or wheat bread, okay. It might be a French baguette, okay, or things like that. So you, it's a, a, a deli usually has specialized items, okay, things that you you won't be able to find in in the regular grocery store. Okay, but typically the deli is located inside the uh, the uh, the grocery store. Okay, uh, very good. So now now we're going to match some expressions. Okay, um, a, a slice of. Okay, a hundred grams of. Okay, a loaf of, a half of. Okay, or, or half a. Okay, so these these certain phrases deal. With uh, with certain uh, certain types of items in the deli, okay. So we're going to uh, go over these here. So let me switch to another color. All right. So let's uh, go ahead and match. Who was my last person? Um, chat, uh, chat, chat. Yeah. I have a I have a question. In U sure. In U.S., you do you use uh, grams for for the um, uh, in uh, in certain instances, yes. Okay. Not not in every instance. Okay. Okay. Um, it, but in certain instances, yes. Uh, a lot of times, uh, we would say pound. Okay. Okay. We go by pound, half a pound, quarter of a pound, uh, things like that. Um, but um, really, uh, kind of what it what it comes to, it's about so. Uh, one kilo is about two pounds. It's like 2.2 .2 pounds, something like that. It's something that I've I've had to I've had to learn uh, being here now in Costa Rica. Um, uh, so yeah, so uh, we we do use pounds more often, but in certain instances, um, we do use kilos. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Now I can't remember who I left off with. With who was the last person that answered on the page before? Oscar? Uh, was it Oscar? Okay. Thank All right, you. cool. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, you're right. You're right. Okay, so it was Oscar. So let's uh, let's do uh, let's go with Laszlo here. And Laszlo, uh, what I need for you to do is match up match up this phrase a slice of with what you believe it would match to here on the uh, on the other side. Okay. I think uh, the slice of ham, breed, or cake. Okay. All right. Very good. Yeah, so this is going to be a slice of ham, bread, or cake. All right. Cake being the good stuff. You always want a slice of cake. Right? But yeah, uh, we can take a slice of bread or a slice of ham, which is a, a meat. Okay. Very good. Yes. Yeah, so it is D. Okay. Um, good. Number two. Uh, number two is for, um, let's see, Joy. 100 gum of cheese, meat, olives, potatoes, salad. 
Okay, say that. Say that one more time. Any any one of them? Cheese, meat, olives, potato. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. All right. So C, right? So any uh, yes. any one of these here. Okay. So yeah. So you can uh, uh, when ordering uh, when ordering uh, those those types of items. Okay. You order. You can order a hundred grams of them. Okay. Uh, you can order really any any amount. Okay, half a kilo, okay, quarter kilo, okay, things like that, okay, and uh, really, um, so what I was saying before, in the United States, um, uh, we deal a lot more with pounds, okay, so one kilo equals about, okay, about two pounds, okay, so uh, getting uh, one pound, one pound is... How come I can't right there? One pound is half a kilo. Half a pound is a quarter kilo. Okay, and and so forth. Okay, uh, just so that you, if you do travel and they don't understand the grams, okay, you would be able to uh, order order that way as well. Okay, knowing uh, one pound uh, now half a pound equals about a quarter kilo okay things like that okay all right very good let's go to number three uh, number three is for Jose uh, number three a loaf of bread uh, yes okay so when we're talking about loaves so B here okay um, loaf is specifically used for uh, bread Okay. Uh, we do have other words that use the word loaf, like a meatloaf. Okay. Um, meatloaf is um, ground beef with some other seasonings and whatnot, made in the shape of a loaf of bread. Okay, that's called a meatloaf. Okay, but specifically when we are talking about uh, bread, it is called a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread. Okay. Uh, good. Thank you. And number four. Uh, number four is Esther. Um, half a baguette kilo. Okay. Good. Yeah. So uh, A here. So half a baguette. Baguette being bread, you guys, as well. But the long ones, right? The long, long uh, uh, sticks of bread. Okay. You can get a half, half of that. You can get a, a half a kilo. Okay, like what I was uh, talking about over here. Okay, excellent. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's uh, scroll down here. Now we're going to uh, complete this um, this dialogue here. Okay, and I believe I want to practice it. Let me. Oh, I've got those. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go through and complete this this dialogue here. Where are you at? Okay, very good. Uh, let's go to, um, let's see, Diego. Okay, Diego, looking at uh, the words up here above, okay, which word would we put here to complete the, uh, the, the, the uh, number one? Okay. Uh, uh, I like some of that, of that cheese, please. Okay, I'd like some. Okay, that looks looks like it, it works. Okay, I'd like some of that cheese, please. Certainly. How much would you like? Number two, uh, Amparo. Um, I like the... about a hundred. Okay. Bring. Yeah, about a hundred grams. Mm -hmm. Okay, about a hundred grams. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Um, so here you are. Anything else? Uh, let's see. Number three is for Victor. What would we place? Mm -hmm. uh, what would we place here? Uh, yes. Can I have? Oh no, no. Can I have some of this beef? 
Okay. Uh, yes. Can I have uh, some of this beef? Um, uh, that looks. Yeah, that looks like yeah, it works. A question. Mm -hmm. a, a little more. How are you? Um, a little more would be uh, would be uh, for a different one. This uh, can I have some of this beef would would be the best one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next one is sure this much. Okay. Next one is for um, Trung. Number four, please. Uh, number four. Um. Um. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Anything? Uh, a little more, please. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. A little more. Okay, a little more. Good, good. Uh, next here is um, uh, number five. This is for Oscar. Yes. Uh, uh, little more, please. In this much. Uh, no, is. Please get me. Please get me about. Thank you. Um, no, not in this section because about uh, we're we're probably going to ask for a certain amount after that, and uh, this would be the end of the uh, of the sentence. So what? Uh, 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 no, uh, no, mm, this much. No. Uh, okay, so here uh, we uh, said a little, a little less. Yes, a little less. A Thank little you. less. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, a little less. That's fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, good. Uh, number uh, number six. Uh, number six is for Laszlo. Okay. Yes, please uh, give me about ten slices of the ham. Okay, good. Give me, or sorry, please. Okay, so please give me about 10 slices of the ham. Let's see if I can move that. Oh, I can't move it. Okay, and number seven, I think Joy is next. What's number seven, Joy? Thank you. That's all. Okay, thank you. That's all. Okay, good. Good. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, go through. Um, I want to uh, I want to practice this and also uh, go through some of these phrases to to wrap uh, to wrap up. So uh, let's practice going through this um, this dialogue. Okay, uh, be mindful, you guys, of of the question intonations. Okay, so we want our voice to go up. Okay, how much would you like? Anything else of this beef? Okay, so we want our voices to go up. Okay, so let's practice this here. Um, so we have we have Claire and we have the assistant. All right, so let's start off with Jose. I'll have you be Claire, and Esther is going to be the assistant. Okay, so uh, okay. go ahead and read through this dialogue, you guys. I'd like some of that cheese, please. Certainly. Uh, how much would you like? I don't see um, about uh, 100 grams. Um, here you are. Here you are. Uh, anything else? You Jose, Jose, yeah, make sure to to click on my my icon. You know how we we all have pictures down below and whatnot. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Click on it, and you'll see a blue box appear. That'll help. Uh, yes. Can I have some of this of this beef? Sure. This much. A little more, please. This much. Uh, no, a little less. That's fine. Thank you. Anything else? 
Yes, please give me about uh, 10 slices of that ham. Sure, you, um, sure, here you are. Thank you, that's all. Okay, nice job, you guys. Okay, very good. Um, let's take a look here. Um, we want to say slices, Jose, so uh, 10 slices of that ham, please. Go ahead and repeat that. 10 slices that. of that ham. Okay, very good. Okay, and Esther, I want to practice this phrase here with you. Um, anything else? Now, your intonation was good. Okay, let's practice the pronunciation here. Anything else? Anything else? There you go. Okay, nice job. Okay, thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, let's go to, whoops. Oh, I did not want to do that. Ah, oh, my program is going crazy on me. Oh. Okay, here we go. All right, so <laughs> next up is Diego and Ooh. Amparo. Uh, Diego will be Claire, and uh, Amparo will be the assistant. Okay. Uh, I like some of that of that cheese, please. Certainly. How much would you like? About uh, 100 grams. Here you are. Anything else? Yes. Can I have some of this beef? Sure. This much? A little more, please. This much? No. A little less. That's fine. Thank you. Anything else? Yes. Please give me about 10 slices of that ham. Sure. Here you are. Thank you. That's all. Okay, very good. Uh, nice job, Amparo. Good job with your uh, your uh, intonation. Okay, mm -hmm. um, uh, your pronunciations were were really good. Uh, Diego, let's practice. Let's practice here. We want to say ten slices instead of ten s slices. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ten, sl ten slices. There you go. Ten slices. Awesome. Okay. Everything else was really good, you guys. Nice job. Thank you, John. Okay, let's go to Victor and Trang. Uh, Victor is Claire and Trang is the assistant. Go ahead, you guys. I'd like some of that cheese, please. Certainly. How much would you like? About 100 grams. Here you are. Anything else? Yes. Can I have some of this beef? Sure. This much. A little more, please. This much? No, a little less. That's fine. Thank you. Anything else? Yes. Please give me about 10 slices of that ham. Sure. Here you are. Thank you. That's all. Okay, nice job. Very good job, Trang. Okay, good job with your uh, intonations there. Um, I want to practice some plurals with you, Victor. Okay, so first up we have slices. Make sure to pronounce that S there. So 10 slices. 10 slices. Okay, good. And then here on number two, uh, we have 100 grams instead of 100 gram. 100 one, grams. 100 grams. Good. And All right, nice job. Can we set to say just about 100 grams? Yeah, you can say just about 100 grams. Mm, okay. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Uh, good. Let's go to Oscar and Laszlo. Uh, Oscar is Claire, and Laszlo is the assistant. I like some of, of that cheese, please. Yoo-hoo. Laszlo, are you there? Nope, we can't. Uh, we can't hear you. I, I see he has his mic off. Uh, uh, check your check your microphone connection one more time, Laszlo. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. Uh, hopefully, he comes back in. Uh, so, uh, Oscar and Joy. Okay. So, Joy, go ahead and read that assistant part, please. I like some of that cheese, please. Yoo hoo. Joy? Two Joy. There's two of them. <laughs> Joy, can you hear me okay? Yes, yeah, yeah, sorry. There we go. Okay, all right. Uh, go ahead and read the assistant part, Joy. Uh, I am Claire Lai, right? Uh, uh, you are the assistant. Okay. Hi. I just said. 
I'd like some of red cheese, please. Certainly. How much would you like? About 100 grams. Here you are. Anything else? Yes. Can I have some of this beef? Sure. This much? A little more, please. This much? No, a little less. That's fine. Thank you. Anything else? Yes, please give me about 10 slices of the ham. Sure, here you are. Thank you. That's all. Okay, nice job, you guys. Okay, good. Um, all right, let's see here. Um, Oscar, uh, at this, at the very beginning, okay, I want to practice this here. So that cheese, please, okay, give me good Z sounds there. So that S is a voiced S sound. That cheese, please. That cheese, please. Okay. All right, getting closer. Let's try it one more time. We're gonna say Z cheese. That cheese, please. Okay. All right. Now, can you uh, can you pronounce that uh, s the z sound? So I want you to say z. Okay. Cheese. Good. Almost. So it's cheese. So pause right after that e. So we're gonna say cheese. 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 Please. Okay. Almost. Almost. So keep uh, keep working on your your z sound there. Okay. All right, very good. Um, thanks, thanks, teacher. Sure, no problem. And uh, uh, Joy, good job with yeah. your uh, with your uh, question intonations. How you were asking the questions, it sounded sounded really good. Okay, mm -hmm. nice job. Thank uh, you. Very good. Uh, let's go to Laszlo. Hi there, Laszlo. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. So yes. Laszlo and uh, Jose. Uh, so Laszlo will be Claire, and Jose will be the assistant. You did not do the assistant before. Is that right, Jose? Yep. Okay, good. So uh, uh, go ahead and go, you guys. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, I am Claire. I'd like some of the cheese, please. Certainly. How much would you like? About 100 gram. Here you are. Anything else? Yes. Can I have some of this beef? Sure. This much? A little, little more, please. This much? No, a little less. That's fine. Thank you. Anything else? Yes. Please give me about ten slices of that ham. Sure. Here you are. Thank you. That's all. Okay, very good job, you guys. Um, Jose, nice job with your question intonation. That sounded really good. Um, let's uh, go to the culprits for uh, for this hour. It's the pluralizations of numbers. Okay, so we have uh, 100 grams. Make sure to add the S here, Laszlo. 100 okay. grams. Uh, 100 grams. Okay, very good. And here we have um, 10 slices. Okay, the S there as well. 10 okay. slices. Ten slices. Okay, good. Nice job. Much better. Okay, nice job, you guys. Uh, good. Let's go to uh, Esther. Esther, you'll be Claire, mm -hmm. and Victor is going to be the assistant. Victor, did you uh, do the assistant last time? No, no, I did Claire. Okay, very good. All right, go ahead, you guys. Okay, I'd like some of that cheese, please. Certainly. How much? What do you like? About a hundred grams. Here you are. Anything else? Yes, I can. <clears throat> Sorry. Yes, can I have some of this beef? Sure. This much? A little more, please. This much? No, a little less. A little less. That's fine. Thank you. Anything else? Yes, please give me a vote. Ten slices of that ham. Sure, here you are. Thank you. That's all. Okay, nice job. Very good job, Victor, with your uh, intonations. Okay, with your question intonations, that sounded really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Esther, I want to practice uh, slices here. You said ten s slices. It was very small, but I want to remove that eh. 
there, okay? So it's 10 slices. 10 slices. Okay, good. Uh, I also want to practice the word give right here instead of give. Okay, use a short I sound. Give. Give. All right, very good. Very good. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, very good. And let's see here. Trong, uh, did you do uh, Claire or the assistant last time? Uh, last time I was assistant. Okay, so uh, you are Claire this time. And Amparo, uh, did you do the assistant or Claire last time? The assistant. Okay, so you both did it. Okay, so um, let, uh, let's see. And Oscar, did you do the assistant or Claire last time? You did Claire last time. Okay, so let me have you be um, the uh, assistant. And so Trang, you will be Claire. And um, Oscar will be the assistant, okay? Yes. I'd like some of that cheese, please. Certainly. How much would you like? About 100. Here you are. Anything else? Yes. Can I have some of this beef? Sure. This much? A little more, please. This much? Oh, a little less. That's fine. Thank you. Anything else? Yes, please give me about 10, slice, ten slices of that horn. Sure. Here you are. Thank you. That's all. No problem. Oh. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's take a look here. All right, nice job, uh, Trung, with slices. Okay, you got that. Uh, I do want to practice the word ham instead of ham. It's ham. Ham. Okay, very good. Um, and uh, up here, this is going to be 100, uh, 100 grams. 100 gram. Okay, pronounce that S at the end, grams. 100 grams. There you go, good. Good. All right, and let's go to um, the word certainly. Okay. <clears throat> now, Oscar, this word instead of being uh, certainly, the word is certainly, with the stress at the very beginning of the word. Certainly. Certainly. All right. Very good. Okay. Nice job, you guys. Thanks. Okay. Now, um, let's see. We have Laszlo. Uh, Laszlo, uh, what did you do last time, Claire or the assistant? I was Claire. Okay, you were Claire, and Amparo was the assistant. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, switch it up. So uh, Amparo will be Claire, and I'll have Laszlo be the assistant. Okay. okay. I'd like some of that cheese, please. Certainly. How much would you like? About a hundred. Uh, Grand. Here you are. Anything else? Yes. Can I have some of this beef? Sure. This much? A little more, please. This much? Mm, no. A little less. No, that's fine. Thank you. Anything else? Yes. Please give me about 10 slices of that ham. Sure. Here you are. Thank you. That's all. Okay. Very good job. Okay. Um, Laszlo, great job with your question intonation. Okay. It sounded really good. Um, I do want to practice one word with you. It, it is the word else. Okay. So we want to pronounce a short E sound instead of als, al. It's eh, el, else. Anything else? Else. Anything else? There you go. Uh, make sure to pronounce that L. Anything else? Anything else? There you go. Good. Good. Thank okay. Um, and uh, Amparo, uh, mm -hmm. very good job. I didn't hear any uh, pronunciation errors. Um, you paused here on that. That's fine. It sounded really good. Okay. You nailed uh, the uh, grams as well as slices. Okay. No issues. Okay. okay. Thank you. Very good. Okay. And last one here. Joy, um, you yes. have not gone twice. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so uh, and who did you do last? Did you do uh, the assistant? Uh, assistant, yes. 
Okay, so let me have you be Claire and uh, Jose. Uh, I'll have you go uh, go again, and I'll have you be the assistant. Okay. 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 Go ahead and go, you guys. I like some of that cheese, please. Certainly. How much would you like? About one hundred grams. Here you are. Anything else? Yes, I can have some of this beef. Sure. This much? A little more, please. This much? No, a little less. That's fine. Thank you. Anything else? Yes, please give me about ten slices of that ham. Sure, here you are. Thank you. That's all. Okay, nice job. Nice job. Okay, um, uh, Joy, let's take a look here. Yes. I want to practice uh, uh, the front part of this sentence here. Okay, so I did not hear that C very well. It sounded like you said, and I have. Okay, so let's say can. Can I have? Can I have? Good, one more time. Can I have? Can I have? Okay, good. Now, on this sentence down here, I want to practice the word more. Curve your tongue up to pronounce that R. More. More. Okay, one more time. More. More. Okay, very good. Very good. Nice job, you guys. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Any questions here with the, with this dialogue? Nope. Okay. Nope. Uh, let's uh, let's scroll down. And I want to go over some some other expressions. Now, the the idea, okay, we're going to put them in the correct area. So we have three different areas that we can put them in, okay? All right, so uh, first one here, this is for Esther. Okay, uh, I'd like you to read this one right there and tell me, um, uh, would we be uh, asking that question at the delicatessen uh, if you are looking for items or when you're at the checkout? Can I have a kilo of that of that beef, please? Um, at the delicatessen. Okay, good, good, and yeah, so we'd be asking that at the deli. Okay, and I'll do green, and I'll just put number one here for sake of time. Okay, uh, very good. Um, okay, and the next one, please. This is for Amparo. Excuse me, I'm looking for rice, looking for items. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> looking for items, all right. <laughs> okay, let's go to Victor. Our next one, please. Excuse me, where can I find coffee? It's uh, as well looking for items. Okay, good. Yeah, so looking for items. Okay. Um, good. Oscar, uh, the next one, please. What is the over there? Uh, over there. Uh, after the checkout. Um, probably not. Uh, probably not. At the checkout, you are you uh, you you are you are finishing up. So here, and then looking for items. Okay, um, looking for items, maybe you're looking for items, but this is going to be at a specific place. So this is actually going to be at the deli. So when deli? you are at the, yeah, when you're at the deli, okay, they have uh, they have a, a piece of glass there, okay, and oftentimes you're looking at it and you say, what is that right there? Oh, this is a, a special cheese from the Swiss mountains, blah, 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 right? And they, uh, they go into how special this cheese is or whatever, okay? That's how you ask what is behind a counter, okay? So you say, what is that? What is that over there? Okay? And that's a, that's a typical phrase that we would ask, okay? Yeah, I see. Okay? All right, very good. Uh, next one here, this is for Laszlo. Uh, can I have a bag, please? Uh, this is uh, at the checkout. I think. Okay, 
All right, good. So at the checkout, yes, can I have a bag, please? Okay, and our last one, this is for uh, Joy. Do you have any franchise mm, at the deli? Okay, good. Yeah, so at the deli. Do you have any French cheese? Okay, definitely a, a question for at the deli. Okay, uh, excellent, you guys. Thank you for, for coming into class. It was great having you here. Okay, Teacher. yes. Uh, uh, the question uh, that said, what's that over there? It could be uh, at the checkout when you find some chocolate there. Yes, you can You could ask it to... Uh, but the only difference is, is that when um, when you're at the checkout, everything mm -hmm. is there close, mm -hmm. all right? And it's usually on the racks that are right next to you. And so mm -hmm. there wouldn't be a need to say, what's that over there, okay? Yeah. But let's say you go to the bakery, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's say you go to um, the deli. Mm -hmm. Let's say you go to the uh, meat section, and it has the glass, right? And you have the, the food that's all lined mm -hmm. up underneath there. You can't touch it, okay, and you can't reach for it, all right? So if they have something behind you, you can say, what's that over there? Or what's that right there as you're, as you're looking through the, the window? Yeah, no, 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 that one. Yeah, what is that? Okay, that's what I have to say all the time, okay? I still, to this day, I can't remember the word for, uh, for meatballs, okay? You know, uh, spaghetti and meatballs, the... What's the word in Spanish? Bolitas de carne. Albondi. <laughs> so, so every time, every time I go, uh, I go to uh, the the store. We have a store right over here close by. I go, yeah, those right there. That, that's that's what. I, <laughs> what's the name of that again? And then she tells me, and she laughs at me because I can never remember the word. Uh, but yeah, so so that that's what that's what that's used for. What's that right there? What's that over there? Okay. okay. When you can't when you can't touch it, okay. All right, very good, very good job, you guys. Thanks for coming in. Um, tomorrow, I forgot what I did for uh, for tomorrow. Oh, it's uh, cell phone problems, okay. So we'll be going over uh, when you have issues with your cell phone, when uh, things you can say and responses to the person, okay, things like that. Um, but uh, next up, we have TOEFL practice um, later today for my afternoon classes. I have a beginning. Um, uh, beginning uh, reading and uh, pronunciation, as well as uh, I'll be going over the H sounds, okay, so dropping the H's, okay, like if we were to say, what did you get her, okay, so this is American pronunciation, uh, when we drop H's and we also drop the TH on them, what did you get them, what did you get her, what did you get them, okay, things like that, so I'll be explaining uh, when uh, when we do that and how we, how we, uh, uh, pronounce them, and then we'll go through uh, practices. This one should be a bit easier than the uh, than the T's. The T's are a little more complex, but uh, yeah, the uh, these uh, these should be easier to grab hold of. Okay. All right, you guys. Thank you very much. We'll see ya. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.